Hey folks, John Ojaka here from MusicMarketingManifesto.com, and in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a way that you can uh, schedule posts on Facebook and tweets on Twitter for free without using any third-party software or you know paying any of the fees that usually go along with that. Um, this is just kind of a, a quick little tip here that I thought many would find helpful. Uh, I'm going to assume that a lot of you going into this probably already know how to do this on Facebook, but I, I also going to assume that very few of you know how to do this on Twitter. And it comes in handy because, uh, well, for a number of reasons, depending on where you are in the world, uh, depending on what your work <laughs> or for that matter sleep habits are, uh, you're not always going to be at the computer when you want your audience to see your message. Because uh, as most of us know, there are certain times of the day where tweets and posts are more effective, where they tend to um, get in front of an audience. And uh, while the algorithms are different between Twitter and Facebook, it's pretty important in, on uh, both platforms and for different reasons that your posts get seen very quickly. Because if you're posting on Facebook from a page, because of Facebook's edge rank algorithm, if you don't get a lot of quick engagement with that post, then they're not going to release it to a, a very large percentage of your audience and no one's going to see that post. If you're if you're one of the many people who've been posting things, you have a lot of followers on your Facebook page and you're posting uh, things and you're not sure why you're only getting a few hundred people seeing it when you have 10,000 followers, that's why because uh, Facebook's edge rank uh, algorithm releases things based upon engagement. That's probably a, a lesson for another day. So it's important that when you publish something, you post it at one of those ideal times, you know, in the morning, around lunchtime, and then again in the early evening. Uh, and same goes for Twitter. Uh, Twitter doesn't have the, the same kind of algorithm. Twitter doesn't manage uh, the posts and who sees what when. Rather, they just have this live feed based on whoever a person is following. And the average, I don't even actually know what it is at this uh, at this point. I remember hearing years ago that the average time that a tweet stayed above the fold, uh, that's the line uh, there on your computer, above which you're required to actually scroll down to see things. That's the sort of very ever important real estate from marketing terms. Uh, but the amount of time that something stays, uh, a tweet stays above the, the fold on Twitter is something like a few seconds, seven seconds, I think I read. And again, I read this years ago, so I have no idea where it is. But the, the point being, it, your your tweet is not going to stay there for very long. So you want to make sure that when it goes out, you've got a, as many eyes as possible on the platform so that you stand the greatest chance of being seen. So that is why we might want to schedule our tweets and posts to make sure that they come out, uh, that they are published at those ideal times. Uh, I know, again, for myself, uh, who's currently in New Zealand, I want people in the United States, that's my audience, it's my market, I want them to see those posts, but I'm asleep at those times, uh, for the most part. And so this comes in really handy for me. And Facebook has made this easy for some time. For those who are not familiar with it, I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, but Twitter has not made this easy. And, and I actually, you know, I'm sure some of you watching this are probably aware of the solution. But I just came upon a solution that, again, did not require one of these third-party uh, uh, pieces of software that are out there. And I'm going to share that uh, with you. I'm going to share both techniques with you in this video. So let's let's go in and just do this here. Um, <laughs> you probably heard enough rambling at this stage. So it's very simple uh, on Facebook. You just come to your, your page. And again, we're talking about Facebook pages here, your artist page, not your personal profile. Your personal profile will not allow you to schedule it, uh, schedule a post, at least not since I've last looked. Um, but let's just say I want to uh, publish. This is a test post. Very <laughs> exciting copy there, folks. Um, but then you just come over here to post. You, from that drop down, you click on schedule and select a date and time in the future for when you want your post to publish. So um, this is pretty self-explanatory, but let's say I want this to go out on the 27th of May. And it's going to be set to your local time, UTC plus 12. I don't even remember what those stand for, but that's New Zealand time. So uh, I'd have to do the math here and uh, let's see. Uh, what time? Let's say I want this to go out at nine o'clock Pacific time. That would be, hmm, that would be four o'clock, uh, four a.m. for me. Uh, although a day ahead, so I would just set this for um, four a.m. and change that to a.m. Whoop. There we go. And because I'm in New Zealand, I would want this to go out a day ahead. So then I would schedule it. 
and that is all there is to do and that will go out at the scheduled time now i'm going to delete that in a bit for obvious reasons but twitter is the uh, bigger mystery here now twitter many of you are probably not messed with it they've got an ad platform they don't allow you to schedule posts uh uh, right here in the main feed just like uh, Facebook does however if you come to their ad platform and you need to create an account it's just ads.twitter.com and go through the various hoops that they'll make you jump through to set up the account you will need to provide a credit card but they are not going to charge you for anything unless you run an ad uh, it's just how they secure an account just like Facebook ads just like Google uh, accounts do you're gonna need um, a credit card or I should say Google Analytics accounts rather um, but again they're not going to charge you anything it is just to verify your account so once you have created your ads account and by all means go and explore their their ad platforms it's a it's a really interesting um, platform uh, as far as advertising and you know on my list it's probably second to Facebook um, but again we're not focusing on that today we're gonna take advantage of a feature that they've got here in their ad platform that allows you to schedule posts so when you log in when you go to ads.twitter let's just remove that and make sure we're on the right page or I'm on the page that you're gonna see yes I am it's gonna it's gonna take you to this page here and now all you need to do is come up here in the right hand corner and click that little uh, tweet icon that you're probably already familiar with and type in this is a test post all right now uh, let's see St uh, we come over here to the scheduling tab and again let's go with that same thing I'm gonna set it for 28th because I wanted to go out on the 27th oh no actually I take that back there's they're not um, going to publish this uh, in my current time. They are giving me my current time, but they are publishing it on uh, Los Angeles time. So we would go to the 27th and then we would just, let's see, bring that down to, uh, I take that back. This is not my current time. This is the current time in Los Angeles. My apologies there. Um, what did we say? Did we say 9 a.m., 8 a.m.? I think we said 9 a.m. I don't remember. And we would just schedule the tweet and it says show tweet in these campaigns zero selected you don't need to worry about that and you click finish your tweet has been scheduled for the 27th of may 2015 and 9 a.m and i can uh, dismiss this which i don't want to do i want to delete it so i would come in here uh, you can edit it and then delete like so so that is how you do it that is how you schedule a post a facebook post or a twitter tweet for a future time so that you can make sure that your messages are getting seen when you want them to and you may have a promotion coming up you may have a show coming up let's say Friday and it's now Monday and you want to make sure that your audience is uh, getting notified about that maybe you want to post going out every day maybe you want a, a tweet going out several times a day you can go and schedule an, an entire week's worth of tweets I think there is a limit but it's something ridiculous I think it's like you can schedule up to 99 tweets or something like that I actually may be totally off on that I just it, something in the back of my head is telling me that there is a limit there um, but it's far larger than anyone's ever going to need so um, you can go and schedule out a week's worth of posts and tweets and never have to think about it again or a month or a year for that matter um, assuming you know you're not looking to do 10,000 of them uh, within that year but you, you can schedule out a lot of content for a long time to come and not have to worry about it ever again because I know you know keeping those feeds active is a, a you know it's a big deal for a lot of us myself included it's hard to stay up on them and and keep our feeds alive uh, and if we don't then our fans don't engage and uh, the value of our audience goes down for us we make less money we sell less less uh, albums and tickets and merch and all that fun stuff so that's how you do it hopefully this has been helpful just a quick tip i wanted to share with you guys today and uh, if you'd like to learn more music marketing tips then by all means go to musicmarketingmanifesto.com uh, forward slash manifesto and uh, check out uh, my course music marketing manifesto in which i teach you a fundamental strategy for selling your music using direct fan more precisely direct response marketing techniques uh, that i've been really cultivating for the music industry over the last few years anyway that's it for today hope you like this video and uh, if you have any feedback or questions do me a favor leave a comment uh, below i love hearing from you folks and i'm always here to help all right take care cheers <music>